lot of girls that might be listening that they have gifts that the Lord has mm -hmm. given them, but they don't know what to do with them. And whether yeah. that's, you know, like writing or, um, and maybe they're volunteering. I know some of the girls are, I mean, they're great writers and they, they submit things and they've gotten featured and stuff like that. But to them, it's like, it's hard to see the end game of how that could go and what, mm -hmm. what you know, what would their dreams be like and how do they dream big? Do you have any advice yeah. for those girls specifically that, um, have gifts, want to see God use them, but also don't want to put too much hope in it and fear that it doesn't work out. <laughs> oh gosh, that is such, Andrea, that's such a great question. You know, the first thing that jumps to mind is that Martin Luther King Jr. quote that says, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step in faith. So that would be my blanket advice. But to get more specific, I think there's something really powerful in paying attention to the things people are calling out in you. Pay attention to the people, things, you know, in an unsolicited way, strangers, people you haven't known very long, whatever the case is, just see in you and call out, or, you know, even better, people who've known you for a long time, see in you and call out as a gifting, even if you can't connect the dots of how that would ever turn into a career or a job or a business or something you can actually make a living doing. So I wanna give you a good example of that. When I was in grade school, I remember being about eight or nine, and we had to go around in the circle and read aloud when it was our turn for a couple of paragraphs or a page or something. And it had gone like all the way around the circle and it got to me and I read and I remember the teacher being like, wow, Mary, you're really good at reading aloud. And that was such a classic example of like, that is not the gift or the compliment I want called out in me. I want to be, you know, the funny one or the like popular one or whatever, the, all these things we wish that we were that somebody else had. Mary's really good at reading aloud, fantastic. Like, what am I going to do with that? Great. Fast forward uh, a bunch of years and I'm in college and my friends are getting married and I do a reading at their wedding. And, you know, it's First Corinthians, pretty standard stuff for weddings. And afterwards, every single guest at that wedding came up and said, I've just never heard a reading at a wedding that was so impactful. And I was like, uh, not what, you know, what was being read. They'd heard that before, but just the way that it was read. And I was like, well, I don't really think professional wedding reader, and this was before I was a professional wedding photographer, is something I'm going to do with my life, but okay. And then I had it, that happen again at another wedding. And so I was like, well, this is really weird, but it's not really the, the, the giftings I wish I'd had. And I don't know how to, I'm going to make a living out of this. And then you fast forward again, and I have a podcast, and I'm reading my audiobook. So the gifts that God gives you, and the things He's calling out in you, and the things He's bringing people into your life on purpose, it may be this video right here. It may be this, the, this in your earbuds, or this on your phone, or this on your computer. It might be me right now saying, pay attention to the gifts that are being called out in you. It might not make any sense at all. But in hindsight, you're going to see that breadcrumb of trails of how God had a plan for it all along. Amen. Thank yeah. you so much for that. I feel yeah. like so many girls are going to be like, okay, I got to write this down. Okay, I got to write yeah. this down. <laughs> Pay attention. No, that's really good. 